So let's say you meet a Discord bot, like a really cool Discord bot, and you're invited to a Discord server with all your friends in it, and people start using your bot, but people start spamming one of your commands, and if that command requires a relatively long time to execute, then your bot has to execute the same command multiple times. So your bot's messages are not only going to be delayed, but you'll also be unnecessarily wasting resources on the computer or server you're running the bot on. So in this video, I'll be teaching you how to add cooldowns to your bot to make sure something like this doesn't happen to your bot. So we see here that the decorator takes in three arguments, rate, pull, and type. So if we want a command to be only used once in every five seconds for every user, then our rate would be one, our pull would be five, and our type would be a bucket type of user. And then in our code, we need to add this decorator on top of every function for every command for which we want the cooldown to be applied to. So the next thing we need to do is tell the user to slow down if they spam the command. So how do we do that? Well, if we head over to the documentation again, we see that if the cooldown is triggered, then an error called the command on cooldown is triggered in the on command error function. Okay, so based on what the documentation said, we can create a function called on command error with the addbot.event decorator, and we can check if the error is an instance of command on cooldown. If this is true, then we are going to send an embedded message to the user. And to send an embedded message, we're going to need to import embed and color from next card. And then we can create an embedded message with a title of slow it down pro, and then a description of try again in some number of seconds, rounded to the second decimal place. And then our color is going to be color.red. And then all we need to do is await ctx.send, and then we're going to set the embed parameter to em. Cool, so if we did everything right, our program should work. So let's test our code. So if we do dog hi, first time we get a message from dogbot. If we send it again, okay, so we get an error message. And we get this because we sent the same command more than one time within five seconds. And now since it's been more than five seconds, if we type dog high, we don't get an error. Wait, I have something important to say. Why haven't you subscribed yet? I mean, you've come so far in the video and you haven't subscribed? Look, it's 100% free, you won't miss out on new videos, and you'll help other coders find my channel. Also, make sure you hit the bell icon when you subscribe because then you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, yeah, that's it. Bye.